Dear brethren and friends, Wakeman here. Isn't it interesting to witness people who call Mock and Scoff Christians as tinfoil hats conspiracy theorists? Mocking and scuffing when we've warned about the New World Order, the satanic narcissists controlling this world, and the coming mark of the beast. For people who have not been living under a rock, you have observed the following events happening now. New World Order. Satanic narcissists manipulating the world into slavery and slaughter. And the worldwide mandates for whoever refuses to take the jab, as now. They will not be able to buy and sell without it. After three and a half years, Warning brothers and sisters about this moment we've now reached. Despite being mocked, scuffed, triangulated with intensive smearing campaigns, I pray you can now see and understand that the narcissist's matrix and gaslight are crumbling down. And now be prepared to see the truth and of discernment. To make the right choices which will impact your soul. The narcissist's matrix and gaslight are crumbling down. And you can now see increased narcissistic attitudes everywhere out in the open, and even supported and encouraged by the mainstream media. You can also now see increased demonic manifestations everywhere presented as a new normal by the mainstream media. For further information, please watch videos on the playlist on this channel. Everything hidden will be revealed. This world is experiencing biblical prophecies happening right before everyone's eyes. And yet, people refuse to accept this is happening. I see that in a very near future, when people realize they have been duped, mortally changed, and living in a narcissistic cave, also known as Matrix, for all their lives, and everything they were told by the narcissist establishment is nothing but gaslight and deception, it may be too late for them, as their souls may have been compromised by their choices. Please brethren, now is time to stay in close relationship with Jesus Christ. I feel in my spirit this month is yet to reveal some difficult lessons for people who have abandoned the love of the truth which could save them from as in the days of Noah possible coming events. God bless you. Please remember, Jesus Christ is the truth, the way, and the life. You know what I think? I think in this absolute fake rigged reality in which we live, you want to know what the only real thing is? The only thing that matters that's real? It's your spirit. Your soul. The spiritual. Because they can't take that from you. That you can save. Because you can't change the system. This sick, fake world was meant to fall. And there's no other way around it. You think we're dealing with mere humans? These psychopaths in control are vessels. They're all influenced by forces beyond this realm, beyond your perception, beyond this physical dimension that you perceive. This is why the world is the way it is. This is how they are able to carry out their sick agenda against us all and do the things they are capable of doing. Because understand, this goes beyond the flesh. This is why there is a new world order. After many years on this journey of finding some type of truth in this world, this is what I finally realized. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. This is what we are dealing with. This is why the world is the way it is. The way I see it, the sooner you understand this simple truth, the better off you'll be. God bless. People. It's a very, very fucking dark situation, folks. But when the people start realizing what is going on, how badly 
they have been deceived. These are the people who are panicking, buying toilet paper when they turn on the television. When the lights finally go on, we are going to see a mass, a mass mental breakdown of the collective society. Right? It's going to be a mass breakdown. They are going to fucking go haywire. It's going to be a meltdown, folks. We've been awake for a long time. I first read Behold the Pale Horse 20 years ago. William Cooper, Secret Service USA, blew the whistle on all this shit. So we knew it was coming. A lot of us knew this was coming a long time ago. But these people are going to compress all of our awakening into a fucking five-minute red pill this big, and they're going to fucking freak. They're going to freak at the magnitude of what's being done to them. And most of them will have had this. And they're going to realise everything that they've done all at once and they're going to fucking crack. And you want to distance yourself from that. I'm telling you right now, they're going to catch on all real quick because it's going to spread like wildfire when it does, when they catch on. It's going to spread like wildfire, folks. And it will, society, I'm sorry, folks, I'm not the fucking kumbaya, happy clapper, Wim Hof breathing, let's go do some Reiki, and I'm not on the fucking timeline. I'm manifesting a high vibe timeline. We are on a fucking timeline to fuckville. I'm telling you right now, we're on a fucking timeline to fuckville because all shit is going to hit the fan. And I don't care how many fucking Wim Hofs you want to do and how many fucking downward dogs, it's going to get fucking radical in this country when people catch on that you can't get this thing out of you and we spent the last 18 months coming up to 18 months trying to warn you of this fucking agenda that the people who think the world is overpopulated by 90 percent want to inject 90 percent of the people to, to achieve herd immunity but they're all going to get a fucking wake up call real quick so I'm all out of fucking kumbaya and fucking positive timelines and, and that bullshit, folks. The harsh fucking brutal reality is the shit is going to hit the fucking fan and I hope you're getting ready. I hope you're getting your mind ready, your body ready, your soul ready, your provisions and you're ready for fucking war and that you're at least going to, if you go down, you go down with a fucking fight.